Cape Town's public transport system in South Africa has been paralyzed by a mini-bus taxi strike that in a violent turn has seen at least three people killed. Police on Tuesday said the drivers of minibus taxis blocked multiple roads in the strike that began last Thursday. The taxi industry it's, on a, it's no work, no pay. So yes, we do feel the effect, especially uh, for owners that has like installments on the vehicles that needs to be paid. So at the end of the day, they, they do feel the effect. We all do feel the effect. Numerous public buses and city vehicles have been set on fire, according to city authorities. Tensions boiled over after 15 mini buses were impounded on Tuesday. Any taxi strike like this that drags on days on end is going to be very damaging to our economy and to uh, the tourism economy in particular as messages go around the world and images of the, some of the violence that those taxi operators have perpetrated. Everybody must swallow his pride, everybody must stop arrogance and this is happening not at the expense of those people that are refusing to resolve the matter. They are well, they stay where things are calm, they drive their cars, they go to school, but people that are suffering is an ordinary black child. Private cars have also been stoned or shot at. The strike had began last Thursday as a result of clashes with city authorities. For me to be out of work, it's a lot. And um, I have people that's depending on me. And um, But yeah, like missing out of work, it's a lot. And it's not always what my bosses want to know. They want us to be at work. They want us to produce. Santaco called for the action over a new municipal bylaw that gives the city the power to impound vehicles over offenses such as driving without a license.